Francis, who puts the ball down politely for uh, Peter Sterling. Six forwards involved in it. And here they go. All over the place, and Jerd, Jerd goes ahead, and he was actually pushed by Bugden. They put that under the Sydney Cricket Ground one day. Um, anyway, it's out with Sterling. Sterling back to Cronin. Cronin stands and gets it back to Sharp. A pop of a pass to Phillips, and Phillips goes to ground. He's about eight metres out from the Manly line. About 15 of the first half remaining. The ball given back for Stephen Edge, and uh, he's taken by Jeff Gerrard. It's a lot of pressure for Manly to have to withstand in this game. Duffy is the dummy half. It's gone to Sterling. There's the kick by Sterling coming off Thornton. It's down and back, and uh, Sterling's got possession back for Parramatta. He's counted it as a tackle. He's counted it as a tackle. Well, the ball was kicked into Vorton. I doubt that he played at it. All right, so it's with Don Duffy now. And this is the last tackle coming up for the Eels. Edge has gone to dummy half. Sterling will call it. There he is. And there's the chip sending Kenny through with Rebo. And I think Ray Price has got the ball and scored. Ray Price has grounded. And it's a four-pointer to Parramatta. They've gone to ten points to nil. Here's the Ray Marina replay. The little chip by Peter Sterling, Ray Price, uh, is right up there, snatched it from John Rebo and put it down. These two fellas mean so much to Parramatta and they've taken it upon themselves to grab this game by the scruff of the neck and really try and turn it their way. Oh. Great backing up by Price. Cronin is just inside the 22. You'll find he's about 12 metres in. 10 mil in favour of the Eels. There goes his kick. The touch judges haven't moved. It's a goal. And Parramatta have raced to a 12-0 lead.